Hi comrades, so today's video is going to be on natural fibers and we are going to go into the depth of it and we are mainly going to see at the problems we face with uh, natural fiber composites. So before we get, uh, so what are natural fiber composites? So let us break the etymology down. Natural fiber is basically any sort of fiber which is derived naturally. So it can be hair, which is a natural fiber. It can be from plant. It can even be from animals like your wool. That's a natural fiber. So natural fiber, we've understood what natural fiber is. Now, what are composites and what does natural fiber do in composites? So composites are basically two or more materials which are combined together to give better properties. In composites, there's going to be the matrix Matrix, if I have to simply tell, is let us see building a brick wall, correct? So you definitely need bricks and you need cement. So the cement is the matrix and the bricks are the reinforcing material. So uh, the problem, uh, the so let us come back to composites. So in composites, there's a matrix and there is a reinforcing material. So uh, the matrix would be different times, right? You can have from... Uh, uh, ethyl esters, I mean, have polyesters, you've got I mean, uh, <clears throat> different types of uh, thermosetting and thermoplastic uh, matrix uh, which will be used. Whereas in, uh, in your uh, reinforcing fiber, this is where natural fiber comes. Natural fiber acts as the reinforcing uh, fiber. So generally for high-end composites, we use glass fiber or aramides or whatnot. But in natural fiber composites, we use uh, fibers which are derived from the uh, uh, naturally, which are derived from a natural source. So now we've understood what are natural fibers, what are natural fiber composites, what are composites, and what are natural fiber composites. So now let us move on to the problems which we face with natural fiber composites. Specifically, I'm going to talk about plant-based natural fibers. That means the fibers which are uh, derived from a plant source which we're going to be talking about today so the first thing which we're going to go into why plant-based natural fibers are not very good is because of lignocellulose so what is lignocellulose so let us understand how a plant works so the plant right it uh, takes a uh, water from the roots and then moves it thro throughout the rest of the plant correct so to to do this there's a process which is called osmosis so what is osmosis basically what happens is the plant takes in the water it swells up and then it again contracts swells up and contracts so slowly slowly water is transported up to from the roots up to the tips to the branches of the plant so in order to do this osmosis you need a material called lignocellulose so i hope it's slightly starting to make sense so when you have lignocellulose what happens this is the material which uh, enables the expansion and contraction of the plant fibers in the presence of water or in the presence of any sort of moisture correct so when so as a reinforcing material you want a material which is very stable obviously right in a matrix when you put the reinforcing material you want to make sure that the reinforced material is very stable so that you you can be assured that the properties and the mechanical properties of that particular composite is going to remain steady and stable throughout the lifetime of that composite correct but when we have lignocellulose which are which is a major chemical component in plant-based fibers when you exp expose this composite to moisture it's going to expand and contract because of what because of the osmosis which was actually which was a reason it was actually intended for but in our use case scenario it is actually a disadvantage why because when this exa uh, this uh, exact uh, or chemical uh, cause causes the expansion and contraction of the natural fibers there's going to be delamination so basically if you take uh, for example just take any sticky material right you uh, multiple times if you stick and remove it right what's going to happen the adhesive force the adhesive nature of that sticky side of that paper is going to reduce because there's going to be particles or whatnot same thing happens in composites it's going to reduce the mechanical strength it's going to re uh, reduce the pro properties it's going to reduce the favorable properties of the composite 
resulting in unfavorable circumstances or unfavorable results for a plant based composite natural fiber composite when exposed to water so that's the reason why we do not see many plant based composites plant based natural fiber composites around but there are multiple ways to get over it and that is a video for another time but there are multiple ways to get over it but these are either very expensive or very hard to do as in if we do not have like uh, many people do not have access to either the resources or uh, to resources which are required to remove the lignocellulose from it now you might be thinking so i will jump around so why you, now you might be thinking why why can't we just go with animal based or why can't we go with other types of fibers so plant based fibers have a very very interesting uh, feature or what a, a, a good advantage going for it which is carbon dioxide neutrality so what is carbon dioxide neutrality so obviously at the end of the life cycle of this particular composite you're going to burn it right or you're going to have some sort of combustion taking place which is going to release carbon dioxide or any sort of carbon or gases into the atmosphere but for plant based natural fibers the plant obviously in its lifetime absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide for its photosynthesis correct uh, so what happens is the amount of uh, carbon dioxide absorbed from the atmosphere by this plant will definitely most of the times be lower than the amount of carbon dioxide released when we burn uh, when we combust this particular composite so then we have a parity right there's a amount of carbon dioxide which is absorbed by the plant which is over here and the amount of carbon dioxide which is released when the composite is burned is over here so there's a parity there's a difference and this difference is called carbon net carbon positive right ideally we want to to be high net carbon positive but even if it's uh, equal which is carbon dioxide neutrality it's uh, carbon neutrality it's fine whereas any other material you take which is not plant based is definitely going to be carbon negative that means it's going to emit more carbon than it has absorbed throughout its lifetime so that is why we are really fascinated with plant based composites now coming to uh, how do we get plant based composite extraction so that is a problem again so extraction from a plant like bamboo which is one of the fastest growing shoots in the world is relatively simple right you just uh, cut the culm or the stem of the bamboo and then you extract those fibers but when you go to different types of plants with much much better uh, uh, mechanical properties of its fiber then the extraction of that particular reinforcing material the fiber which you're going to use as reinforcing material becomes that much more harder and when it becomes that much more harder what happens it happens is the cost of a composite increases and even though it's carbon neutral the cost compared to a say a normal available glass fiber is going to be very expensive or is going to be probably high or the properties of that particular uh, uh, fiber is not going to meet our requirements so that's the reason extraction also is a major scope where a lot of research can be done uh, in order to extract the uh, fibers from the plant in least pay a cost possible and maintaining as much uh, mechanical like the favorable properties as possible correct and finally uniformity of properties every living thing is not like every living organism especially plants is not made the same so what happens is if i get a particular uh, fiber from one plant and if i get the same type of fiber from another plant there is going to be difference in properties and in high stake or in high cost applications this is not uh, done like you, you cannot have uh, varying properties of the materials you're going to be uh, using correct so this is where plant based fibers natural fibers fall back because their properties cannot be predicted it cannot be same throughout all the plants whereas for glass fibers since it's most probably manufacturing the same factory and under the same circumstances and prop, uh, processes we're going to have more parity we're going to have almost similar properties or uh, predictable stable properties across the different glass fiber use whereas in plant based uh, uh, reinforcement uh, material that is going to be really hard so these are a few problems with plant based uh, fibers but i've explained why it's so advantages and why we should try and solve these problems or why scientists are trying to solve these problems in order to have plant based composites it's a very interesting field and i hope uh, you've taken something from the video and gone away today 
So my name is uh, Ashley Lobo, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, I would uh, highly appreciate. I would highly appreciate it if you give, give a like and, uh, and definitely subscribe to my channel if you feel it's worth it. Because there's going to be content like this going, which is going to come. And uh, see you, comrades, and hope to see you on my channel more often. And bye.